All right, guys, we're about to go ahead and get into this Iron Mike, um, finishing up the Iron Mike storylines. We've all done things, so I guess put them to rest and give us give a little, what is that, a speech, I think? I don't know. It might be a speech we'll have to say to Iron Mike, so the Iron Mike script or whatnot, but let's go again. <laughs> Whatever the, you the need, I got it. I need to see if we uh we have if we have Good all, one. all the weapons. I think we have. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we really got a trophy today, but I guess not. Let's go ahead and buy these yep. grenades. Uh, good choice. You know, I really good one. Since I'm done with all the whores now, but okay hey. then. I think we we're Deke. about to be really done Take with the game, now. so we we can ah, pretty much Deacon St. John. Delete it. What's up, Joe? After everything, but let's go over here to Iron Mike's um uh, freaking. To the cemetery to where we to lay them rest up and talk to Ricky now in the storyline out. It shouldn't be nothing but maybe like a three, three, four minute uh freaking thing. So go ahead and do this. Hey, my bad. Uh, let's see how far this is. Okay, right here. All right, let's get get into this cutscene, man. Hey. Hey, Deacon. Hattie carved it herself. It's beautiful, right? Thanks. Yeah, it was a piece of redwood that Mike kept in his room. He once told me that when things settled down, he was going to make something out of it, like a <laughs> cribbage board. Wait, a what? A, he doesn't play cribbage. Mm. Iron Mike played cribbage. No, no, but that's the point, that there'd come a day when something like that mattered again. Well, oh, what does it say? Eh, don't look at me, I just carved it. It's a, it's an old Hindu proverb. My mother taught it to me. It reads, rivers do not drink their own water, trees do not eat their own fruit, and clouds do not swallow their own rain. What great ones have is always for the benefit of others. What do you think? Well, coming from you, I think that would have meant a lot to him. Yeah. Yeah, I think if Mike were here, he would probably say something like, what the hell does that even mean? <laughs> huh? Come on. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> he would have said, what the hell does that mean? Followed by, what the hell are you doing standing around here? The world ain't gonna save itself, God damn it! Get right. to work. You're right again. Come on, guys, let's get to work. <sighs> oh, did I ever tell you about the time that Iron Mike saw Addie and I for the first time at the lodge in front of the fireplace? Oh, this is funny. <laughs> okay, so we were tangled up. No, 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 we were all up okay. in it. What? Addie, uh, uh, why? for the first time, and Iron Mike comes out and he looks at us. You don't have to tell me this. You can stop. He had that grin on his face. I'm not grin. You're such a oh perv. You are a perv. I'm tired of you too. <laughs> they trying to call. They tried to call Deke a perv, and they were telling him a story, <laughs> a crazy story. But hey, this, that was a nice end of Iron Mike, man. For the benefit of others, hundred uh, percent complete. Weapon unlocked. The sheriff, we unlocked his friggin' big revolver. Uh, custom skin. Hey, that's fucking nice, too. That's a nice one. That's, that's friggin' nice. Is that turquoise? I'm thinking. I don't know. I think that is. But that's a nice skin. That is a nice skin. Alright, man. <laughs> well, the last one we have to do is down at the bottom. But let's go ahead and end this out, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the end of this Iron Mike storyline. If you did, give this thing a thumbs up. Comment what you thought about the whole storyline, man, by Schizo, the betrayal, and everything that's been going on, man, throughout this story. Share the video for me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, man. Join the G-Squad. Hey, I'm out. Peace.